In my final two years, I'm sort of just in hospital. I didn't have any clinical interaction last year, so I, I'm a bit apprehensive about starting that this year um, and sort of returning to sort of bedside patient manners and um, clinical skills. Wishing you all the best with that. Thank you. <laughs> um, I've graduated from Lee last month from yeah. King's College. So my course was very reading based, so like lots of reading, lots of analysis and research as well. This year it's going to be, there's going to be a practical element to my course. And I think I'm kind of worried into getting into that side of things, like just for the first time I'm going to be like practical, hands-on with things. Just That's because you're stepping out of your comfort zone. hundred percent, but I'm definitely looking forward to it, but it's still that anxiety mm. going, going to like obviously a new field, so yeah. So when I came here, first two months was I was joining all the societies and I was very excited to meet new people. But uh, later on, the re reality started hitting me or like uh, I was started missing my families and it was kind of adventurous for me, like uh, all the assignments and lectures and the way they speak, the accent. So it was kind of like still adventurous and exploring. For me, I just want to start my own company. I just grew up uh, looking into Sundar Pichai, uh, CEO of Google, who is come from the same country like India, mm -hmm. and the Microsoft as well, Satya Nadella. When I reach my 10 years, I just want to be uh, sitting in a very comfortable and stable professional in a very good uh, top companies. So I'm just working towards it, yeah. So my ultimate goal is uh, to be a producer in the future and bring light into stories, untold stories, unknown stories. Um, and you bring awareness to social issues through the use of media. For me, well, I'm currently on the ward um, for women's health. And this is what I'm most leaning towards right now in terms of the specialty that I want to choose in the future. Um, but it does keep on changing. It has changed several times. Um, I think there's um, a very generalised stereotype that people who study medicine, it means that they have to sacrifice their social life or it's all work. Despite all of that, still definitely take on any opportunity to try out new things, join societies and join clubs. I 100% agree with Teresa. I feel like I wouldn't yeah. uh, make the same points, yeah. even though my degree wasn't as demanding as um, medicine. But I think I'm going to make a bit of an academic point and mm -hmm. say, because maybe my background, obviously with my course, readings were a huge part of it. If you <laughs> mess up one week, if you don't keep up with it one week, it builds up like crazy. I definitely agree with both of your points. Uh, I think uh, they have to be more prepared uh, in all the codings, like uh, Java, Python. They should have all the basics of uh, the coding and they should know about this uh, modules or what they are going to study if in the future uh, years and they have to take every day is an opportunity and they have to work hard and they have to keep going on. So being in London, uh, I think I'm very safe and it is a kind of a great opportunity and I'm, uh, it is a, very, a good place to explore uh, and start a new life here and make a, a professional career. And yeah, just feeling like you're, London accepts you no matter what your background you come from. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's what I appreciate from London. It just never gets boring. Um, there's so many things to do, so many people to meet, so many different cultures. And so even though this is now my fifth year living here, I'm still not bored of it at all.